Hello, everyone. I'm Lucy Young. I'm an assistant professor from the University of Arizona. I graduated from NUS School of Computing two years ago. It's my great pleasure to share our recent work in the Computing Research Week. This work is about a value-based view of crowdfunding rewards. It's a joint work with my colleagues from Tulane University, CU Boulder, UT Dallas, and my advisor from NUS. Reward-based crowdfunding is an emerging source of venture financing, where entrepreneurs solicit capital from crowdfunders over an online platform. Crowdfunders could receive a predefined rewards as returns for their investments. Some typical platforms, such as Kickstarter or Indiegogo, have increasingly become a viable approach for entrepreneurs to market their initiatives and to raise funds from the crowd. In this reward for pledge process, for entrepreneurs, a central view to optimizing funding performance is to effectively design the rewards offered to crowdfunders. Therefore, a major stream of prior research has been devoted to examining the implications of crowdfunding rewards. For example, some of them focus on a particular form of rewards or the total number of rewards. In the meanwhile, for crowdfunders, they have been found to have diverse needs and considerations when back in the project. In contrast, there's a paucity of understanding about the underlying mechanisms through which different rewards could incentivize crowdfunders to back a project. This leaves a fundamental theoretical gap in the cause and effect links between rewards and crowdfunding performance. Therefore, in this study, to address this gap and theorize the effects of crowdfunding rewards, we develop a value-based view by integrating the insights of consumption value theory and the crowdfunding literature. This view sheds light on the theoretical mechanisms through which backers are incentivized to support a campaign with the consumption values provided by its rewards. Why did we choose the consumption value theory? This theory was adopted because in the context of crowdfunding, backers largely behave like the consumers, where they receive a reward by backing a project. The central premise of this theory is that consumers' decisions to purchase a product are grounded on the consumption values they could derive from the product. In a similar vein, in the context of crowdfunding, Crowdfunders' decisions to back a project is largely based on the consumption values carried by the project's rewards. Given the multifaceted needs of consumers, consumption values are commonly theorized as a multidimensional construct. Our value-based view attributes the merits of a crowdfunding reward to three basic dimensions. Utilitarian value, social emotional value and the participatory value. Utilitarian value refers to the extent to which the functions of a reward can satisfy backers' instrumental needs. Social emotional value refers to the extent to which a reward can satisfy backers' social and affective needs. The third value, participatory value, refers to the extent to which a crowdfunding reward offers the opportunities for backers to involve in and support the development process of a project. The definition might be abstract. Let's take a look at a specific example. Take a crowdfunding project that develops 3D printers as an example. The printers as a reward could satisfy backers functional needs for 3D printing and thus carry utilitarian value for backers. Being able to customize such cutting edge technology products allows backers to enjoy a sense of superiority and exclusivity. This carries a social emotional value. Moreover, the opportunity for backers to edit and compile the open source software used by the printer allows backers to participate in the improvement of the product. This carries a participatory value. 
Now let's move on to the hypothesis. As we just discussed, crowdfunders largely behave like consumers when making their backing decisions. In such consumer-like decision pattern, many crowdfunders back a project in exchange for a novel and useful product. In this rationale, when a project offers higher utilitarian value, crowdfunders' desire for its reward will be higher as well. Therefore, we propose that higher utilitarian value of crowdfunding rewards is positively related to a project's crowdfunding performance. As we previously discussed, the social emotional value of crowdfunding rewards mainly satisfy crowdfunders' social and effective needs. Prior consumer behavior research suggested that when consumers prioritize such social emotional needs, their purchase behavior will be primarily driven by the symbolic value of products. Thus, they will be less sensitive to the functionalities and the practical usefulness of products. Based on this logic, when the project offers rewards with high social emotional value, you'll be particularly attractive to the crowdfunders who prioritize social or psychological needs. In other words, the social emotional value could motivate the crowdfunders back in decisions in place of their utilitarian value. Therefore, we expect a substitution effect between social emotional value and utilitarian value. So we propose that the social emotional value could weaken the positive effects of utilitarian value. In a similar vein, participatory value satisfies backers per social needs, given the altruistic and non-calculative nature of prosocial needs. Crowdfunders who prioritize per social needs are likely to see their backing decisions like philanthropic behaviors rather than collecting the actual rewards. Following this logic, high participatory value of crowdfunding rewards is likely to weaken the positive effect of utilitarian value as well. Hence, we propose this substitution effect between participatory value and utilitarian value in the third hypothesis. Based on our previous arguments, the three consumption values provided by crowdfunding rewards potentially substitute one another. Because they incentivize the crowdfunders who prioritize different needs in their backing decisions. Given the potential substitution effect between social emotional and utilitarian values, as well as between participatory and utilitarian values, the joint effect of the three values will not contribute to crowdfunding performance as a simple monotonic superposition. But rather, we expect them to manifest as an inverted U-shaped effect. When a project is highly, is highly valuable on one or more value dimensions, increasing other values will become less effective. We propose this inverted U-shaped relationship between value combinations and the crowdfunding performance in hypothesis four. To test the proposed hypothesis, we use a three-stage research design that employs multiple methods. First of all, using LDA, a natural language processing technique, we analyzed a large corpus of field data on reward descriptions from a crowdfunding platform. This approach allows us to categorize crowdfunding rewards into eight representative reward types. Let's take a look at um, eight reward types. Given the interest of time, I won't go into the details of each reward type. Some typical reward types are a special product, which refers to the opportunity to obtain a limited edition product. It can be a signed copy of a product or a backer exclusive t-shirt. Another type is involvement. It gives backers the um, opportunity to directly influence a project by contributing to the development process of a project. 
After we identify the eight representative reward types, we surveyed real world crowdfunders by asking them to evaluate each reward type on each of the three reward values. More than 200 crowdfunders who have experience in the crowdfunding industry have participated in our survey. The results of the survey is a value loading scheme, which can be shown in this two dimensional table. We can see from this table, each reward type has a loading on each consumption values. At a first glimpse, we can see that the discount product and standard product have high loadings on the utilitarian value. Special product, early access product, and acknowledgement have high loadings on social emotional value. Interaction and involvement have high loading on participatory value. After mapping out the value compositions of each reward types, we then apply this reward value loading scheme to assess the value compositions offered by each crowdfunding project. Using the value loading scheme, we calculated the sum of each value based on the reward types offered in the project. Let's look at the regression results. The regression analysis was conducted at a campaign level. We used the funding performance as a dependent variable and the sum of each reward values as a independent variables. The result suggested that the utilitarian value of rewards offered by a crowdfunding project is positively related to the project's crowdfunding performance, lending support to our first hypothesis. We also observed that the interaction term between utilitarian value and social emotional value is negatively related to fundraising performance, which implies that Social emotional value offered by a crowdfunding project could weaken the positive effect of utilitarian value. The subsample analysis shows a similar finding, providing support to our second hypothesis. A similar result can also be observed for participatory value. After introducing the variables for value combi combinations as well as its quadratic term, we could observe that the combination of the three reward values carried by rewards has an inverted U-shaped relationship on crowdfunding performance, leading support to the fourth hypothesis. The visualizations of the interactions also support the substitution effect between social emotional participatory value and utilitarian value. Taken together, these results largely support our previous theoretical predictions. To further advance our understanding of the three reward values, we conducted a postdoc analysis to explore their differential effects for different types of crowdfunding projects. What did we find? Let me walk you through the results. In crowdfunding projects offering novel merchandise, utilitarian value is the most important value. In crowdfunding projects offering art performance, social emotional value is the most important value that determines a crowdfunding performance. Whereas in projects with publications as a reward, participatory value is a dominant value. These results support the distinctive mechanisms of the three reward values, which can be predicted by our value-based view. In summary, in this research, we integrate the insights from consumption value theory and the crowdfunding literature. We develop a value-based view of crowdfunding rewards. Through this view, we systematically theorize the mechanisms underlying how various rewards can incentivize crowdfunders' backing decisions. Our value-based view bridges across a crowdfunding literature on what a project can offer to backers and on what 
why crowdfunders back a project. As to what a project offers, we theorize the mechanisms at play through the three value dimensions. As to why crowdfunders back a project, our value loading scheme pinpointed the rewards that can be offered to satisfy crowdfunders' particular needs. We also add to the venture financing literature by highlighting the critical roles of the subjective components in investors' funding decisions. Our study also provides a valuable playbook that can guide crowdfunding entrepreneurs to effectively design the contents of rewards. This brought us to the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. If you are interested in this paper, the full text of this paper can be downloaded from this link on SSR. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm happy to answer any questions from you. Thank you.